G'day guys, Greg here. Now it's food review and cooking time today and one of my good old mates, Jason, he wanted me to try this product right here. Cleaver's Organic Beef Hot Dogs. Now it's not that easy to find a beef hot dog and he reckons these ones are really good. <laughs> and they'd want to be at $10.50 for a pack. And if you have a look at them, these things are really skinny and tiny. That's what she is like. But the best thing about these is they're already cooked, so you just have to heat them up. So it all depends on how you want to do that. Anyway, I'm going to heat some up, try them out, and I'm going to make a hot dog. But not just any old hot dog. I'm going to make the biggest hot dog I've ever made. It's a hot dog with a lot. Let's start cooking. Now I'm going to cook these in the frying pan today with all the other ingredients. And I've heated it up. I wonder if it's hot enough. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> The skin floating around on top says yes! So let me add some lubrication to that pan. And we'll chuck in our hot dogs. I'll try a couple. Well, there's a size of them. And they are about 86% beef too. Because I checked on the back. And we just need to heat these up. And while they're heating up, I might as well chuck in some onions. Because I'm going to need that for my... Hot dog with a lot. And I really don't care if they're going to be overly cooked. So I'll just throw in some bacon too that I just cut into strips. We'll start that cooking as well. Well, these things look like they're cooking really well. Much better than I anticipated. So I'll move these out the way because... Well, if you're going to have a hot dog with a lot, you're going to need an egg. Flip this egg, and I'll turn the heat off, and we can start throwing this hot dog together. But first, how about we try one of these hot dogs on its own, see what the flavour's like. Mmm. Chewy, juicy, beefy, and quite tasty. They've got a skin on them that really makes them taste great. They've got that porkish hot dog sort of flavor, but man, these are really tasty. Anyway, let's try this hot dog together. So here's some of the ingredients I'm using today with my hot dog with the lot. I've got tomato, lettuce, beetroot. I've even got some pineapple. Barbecue sauce, some cheese, and of course I got the egg, bacon and onion as well. Right, time to start throwing this together. Now I think the only way I'm going to get stuff to fit on this bun is if I cut a wedge into it and then chuck the center bit away or feed it to the birds or something. All right, that looks like enough space. Now, of course, wherever there's some bread, there's got to be some butter. Oh, yeah, I love this stuff. So we'll just caress the bun with some butter because, hey, it helps lubricate everything that's inside your body. And next, I'll chuck in <laughs> maybe not quite as much lettuce as that. Better push it down. Now I've got the bacon and onion here. I'll throw those on the bottom. That'll stop the onions from slipping out and then you trip on them and sue yourself. Now I don't know where this egg's going to go. I might just put it on the side there. Give it a good push down. I'll put the hot dog in now. And I'll add some tomatoes somewhere. Move over, because I've got some pineapple here, which I might even have to slice into thinner slices because I just don't know how it's going to fit otherwise. Stick those down there. And, got some beetroot here. It's got to have beetroot, right? Oh, and also, where's this cheese going to go? 
I guess it's going to go wherever it can fit. Now I'll add some barbecue sauce to the equation. Finish it off with some American mercy, man. Yeah! And there we have it. The most Aussie hot dog I think I've ever seen. Now you might want to drop the towel down for this one because who knows what could happen. All right, let's go. Mmm, man, that tastes so good. Tastes like Australiana on a crusted roll. And how easy was it to make? <laughs> hey, these hot dogs are pretty easy to throw together. I love that they're pre-cooked, so you just have to heat them. And because that hot dog's small, it means that you can add more ingredients to your hot dog. <laughs> and the flavour of it is really nice. Anyway, I hope this video helps you decide what to try, what to buy, what to avoid, and what to make. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I cook and review something. See you then. Ooh, yeah.